Hi there, welcome to Two Birds. I'm Fiona, welcome back if you're joining me again. Today I'm sharing a 60 minute vinyasa flow practice and energizing class that moves at an accessible pace and features postures that are typically more stimulating and more uplifting to soak a boost of energy. And for practice today, you may wish to have a folded blanket and if you are enjoying the classes on a regular basis and you'd like to support me creating and posting each week, I'm on Patreon. All the details are in the description below. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you enjoy this practice. Namaste. And begin your practice in Supta Baddha Konasana Reclined Butterfly Pose. If you're familiar with this posture and your hips feel comfortable in this shape, rest back, press the soles of your feet together, open your knees out wide. If you'd like to offer your hips some additional support, roll a blanket into the shape of a sausage, take the rolled blanket over the arches of your feet and wrap the ends of the blanket around the side of your upper thighs. And you can rest back with your outer hips padded. As you arrive, wriggle out any restlessness. Feel for balance across your shoulders and hips. And for a few moments here, rub your palms together, make them warm and energized. And then place one hand on your heart space, one hand on your belly. Let your eyes soften closed. And feel the centre of your chest warm and radiant. Letting your awareness settle on this warmth. The natural movement of your breath under your hands. Let you breathe flow freely. As you breathe quietly and slowly, sense how comforting it feels, how it calms you down, allowing you to let go of yesterday and what came before. Arriving here for yourself into the present moment. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. And gently let that go. Another long, slow, deep breath in. Hold for a few moments as you reach the top. And then let it out with a contented sigh. Take three more rounds of breath. Expanding the space of your heart with your breath on your inhales. And emptying out, letting go with your exhales. And gently blinking your eyes open, close your knees in, take your feet to the floor and we'll move into a quad stretch. Thread your right toes to the heel of your left foot and relax your right knee down toward the floor. For more sensation here, you might wish to reach down, connect your left hand to your right toes, drawing your right heel a little closer in toward your left buttocks. Breathe in deeply and exhale long. Three more slow breaths. Starting to deliberately regulate your breath to elicit a sense of expansion and release. Filling up on your inhales 
and softening on your exhales. Step your right foot to the floor and then switch sides. Finding an optimal angle to your left knee where you're comfortable and you can feel a lengthening sensation to the front of your left thigh. And then three deliberate breaths. You breathe like a sense of touch, massaging, softening your inner body. And release now. Gather your knees in toward your chest. Give yourself an embrace and roll a few circles through your low back spine. Then bring your hands to the front of your knees. Extend your legs up toward the sky. You can keep a little bend in the knees. Just rotate your ankles a few times. Flex and point your toes. And we'll flow through our vinyasa. Breathing in, extend your heels, legs towards straight. Exhale, place your feet down to the ground. On your inhale, raise your arms overhead, lift your hips, finding a bridge pose. And then exhale, bring your hips down, knees in toward your chest. Inhale, extend your legs, flex your heels toward the sky. Place your feet down to the ground. Press into your heels, lift your hips, sweep the arms overhead, expand your chest. Then exhale, hips lower, knees to chest. Twice more, inhale, extend your legs, press your heels away, then feet to the floor, inhale, arms overhead, lift into bridge, exhale, lower, knees to chest, breathing in, legs to the sky, exhale, bend the knees, feet to the ground. Inhale, arms overhead, raise your hips. Exhale, lower, knees in to your chest. Then bring your forehead up toward your knees and you can catch your feet or your shins. Just dome your upper back, middle back, lower back. Then gently release. Cross your ankles, hold your feet, roll yourself up, come to all fours, tabletop. Settle your hands under your shoulders, space your fingers, bring your knees under your hips. On your inhale, lift your heart, come to cow pose, turn your biceps forward. Exhale, round your back and lift the back of your heart toward the sky. Take three more rounds of cat and cow. Nurturing a steady breath in and an equal breath out. Your next inhale, reach your right arm forward, your left leg back, gentle arch to your spine, look forward, exhale round your spine, curl your elbow and knee to touch, inhale extend, exhale round in, one more, breathe in, breathe out. Reach away with your inhale and pause. On your exhale, half revolve bow, bend your left knee, reach back. Catch your left foot with your right hand or back in that direction with that intention. 
smooth breath in, kick your foot into your hand, lead your heart forward, and then just stay for an out breath. Release and reach on your inhale, then carefully pre- place your left knee to the floor, we'll come to thread the needle, circle your right hand to the sky, revolve to your right, take a breath, and then exhale, weave your right arm under your left, come rest down on your right shoulder, right side cheek. You can reach your left fingertips away from your face or forward to the top of your space. Making room for your breath, gently rotate to your left. Breathe in deeply. Exhale long. Two more steady breaths. Release and reverse. Left hand back to your mat. Send your right hand high. And then land back. All fours. Find neutral. Other side, breathe your left arm forward, your right leg back, a gentle arch to your spine. Exhale, round, elbow to knee. Reach away on your inhale. Curl in. Slow and steady, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, reach and pause. Then bend your right knee, reach back, hold your right foot with your left hand. Expand your shape and stay for your out breath. Soften where you can. Release and reach. Lower your right knee to the floor, circle your left hand to the sky, twist to your left. And then thread your left arm under your right, settle into your twist. Right fingertips can go forward or out to the side. And then replace your right hand near your face, unwind from your twist, left hand high. All fours on your exhale. Keep your hips stationed over your knees. Walk your hands forward for Anahatanasana, heart melting pose. Take your hands a little wider than your shoulders. Rest your head, melt your chest toward the floor. As you breathe in, notice the sensation of expansion opening through your arms across your chest and your back. And as you breathe out, a sense of softening your expression, your belly and your effort. Eyes forward on your inhale and then slide, melt forward, come to your belly. Place your hands by your ribs Loop your shoulders back and on your inhale, lift into cobra pose. Same time, bend your right heel in toward your buttocks. Exhale, softly lower, chest and leg. Again, inhale, lift into cobra, bend your left knee, heel toward your buttocks. Exhale and melt down. Once more, both feet, inhale, cobra, heels toward your buttocks, flex your feet and release. Press back to child's pose, send your buttocks to your heels. Expand across your back on your inhale. Exhale slowly into a soft belly. One more full cycle of breath. Gliding up onto all fours, tuck your toes, press back to downward facing dog. Finding your comfortable stride there and establish your hands as your strong anchor, fingers spread, 
close up the air pockets underneath your hands. Bend your right knee and extend back through your left heel. Take a full breath in. Complete breath out. And switch. Bend both knees now. Ease your chest toward your thighs. And your inhale, lift your heels, straighten your legs, hips high. Exhale, lower your heels toward the floor. Once more, bend the knees, chest to thigh. Inhale, lift your heels, straighten your legs. Exhale, lower your heels toward the floor. Stay for a breath in. Soften where you can as you breathe out. Send your gaze forward toward your hands, bend your knees. And step to the top of your mat for an easy forward fold. Gap your feet about hips width apart, hold opposite elbows, place a generous bend in your knees and fold toward your legs. And take a few breaths, just leaning into your fold, perhaps moving through your feet, heels to toes. You might like to explore straightening and bending your knees or sway. Follow your breath. Release your hands, dangle in ragdoll, in the knees even more. Sip a long breath in, roll and rise to stand. Sweeping your arms overhead, join the palms. Lower your hands to your heart centre. Bow your head toward your hands, toward your heart space. In reverence to yourself and your practice. And if you have an intention you'd like to set before we continue to flow, setting that intention into the space of your heart. Next breath in, come to chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms. Sit a little lower on your exhale. On your inhale, rise to stand, arms overhead, catch your left wrist with your right hand, and then side bend over to your right. Take a full breath in. Stay for your breath out. Breathe your way back to centre. On your exhale, cactus your arms, press your hips forward, lift your chest. Inhale, reach your arms over here. Then side bend over to your left. Full breath in, full breath out. Sweep your hands high, come to centre. Forward fold over your legs, little bend in the knees as you go. On your inhale, take a halfway lift, make space for your breath, lengthen. Soft fold over your legs. Rise to stand on the wave of your in breath. Lower your hands to pray. Again, adding on breath to movement. Inhale, chair, Utkatasana. Stay for your exhale. Rise to stand. Side bend your right. Center on your inhale. Cactus your arms, lift your heart. Arms over here. Side bend your left. Inhale, centre. Forward fold over your legs. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Send your heart forward. Exhale now. Step your right foot back. Lower your right knee. Low lunge. Keep your right toes tucked. Reach your arms over here. Then join your palms, interlace your fingers into a knot. Bend your elbows, lower your hands behind the back of your head. Take a few rounds of breath, 
hugging your left foot toward your right knee to energize the legs and then leaning your head up and back, finding a lift, a mild back bend in your upper body. Press the elbows up, opening into the armpits, your chest. Inhale now, neutralize your spine, send the arms overhead. Exhale, half splits, fingertips to the floor, rock your hips back. Work towards straightening your left leg, flex your toes. Lengthen on your breath in. Fold and soften on your breath out. Take another breath. Lengthen your heart forward. Exhale and fold. On your inhale, lunge forward. Reach your arms forward. Let your torso hover over your left thigh. And on an exhale, sweep your arms back and squeeze your right heel in toward your right seat. Then just pause, breathe. See if you can get your foot a little closer toward your fingertips. Release your hands to the floor, your foot to the floor, then raise your right knee, come to runner's lunge, just for a beat. Exhale, pyramid variation, lift your hips, work towards straightening your left leg. With your breath now, inhale, runner's lunge, re-bend your left knee. Exhale, pyramid, lift your hips and forward fold. Keep your front leg straight, wave your spine forward, lengthen. One more time, fold over your left leg. Inhale, re-bend your right knee. Step back to plank on your inhale, pause here, take a breathe. Exhale, lower to your belly. Through our flow, inhale, cobra, squeeze your right heel toward your buttocks. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift, left heel, left buttocks. And release. Last one, inhale, cobra, both feet lift, squeeze. Exhale, release. Press back to child's pose. And take a full cycle of breath in. And out. Glide up onto all fours. Press back. Down or facing dog. Settle steady. Three breaths. Inhale, gazing forward. Bend the knees. Step to the top of your mat. Open with your inhale. Fold with your exhale. Come to stand on the new breath. Lower your hands to pray. Second side, inhale Utkatasana. Sit low on your exhale. Inhale, stand tall, arms over here. Side bend to your leg. Center on the inhale. Cactus your arms, lift your cheeks. Inhale, reach. Side bend your right. Inhale yourself tall and straight. Forward fold over your legs. Open on your inhale. Step your left foot back, low lunge, left toes tucked. Reach your arms to the sky. Steady your lower body. Interlace your hands overhead. Bend the elbows. Take your fists to the back of your head. The elbows point up. From here, just gently exploring a mild back bend, lifting your sternum, extending your spine up, and then softly back. Notice how your breath responds. Just trying to keep that fullness to your breath around your ribs, ease in your shape. Breathe your way back to centre, arms over here. 
Exhale, half splits, fingers to the floor, rock your hips back, straighten your right leg. Dig your right heel in here, draw back as you lengthen your spine forward. Fold and soften toward your right thigh. Another wave of breath to lengthen. Another breath to fold in. Inhale, lunge forward, reach your arms alongside your ears. On your exhale, sweep your arms back, lift and squeeze your left heel toward your buttocks. Close the space between your fingers and your heel, engaging your glutes. And then gently release your foot to the floor, hands to the mat, raise your left knee, runner's lunge. Take a breath. Exhale, pyramid pose, lift, lengthen, straighten your right leg. Inhale, return, runner's lunge. Exhale, lift the hips and find your pyramid pose. Keep your legs, lengthen your front of your spine forward. Exhale, unfold in. Rebend your right knee and step up, top of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Rise to stand, sweep your arms overhead. Hands to prayer, centre of your chest. Adding on, inhale, chair pose. Sit low on your exhale. Inhale, rise to stand. Side bend, your right. Centre, inhale. Cactus your arms. Inhale, reach tall. Side bend, your left. Breathe your way back through centre. Forward fold over your leg. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Now step your right foot back, warrior one. Round your right heel, firmly down as you raise your arms overhead. Then heavy your heels, engage your right leg straight and strong, lower your hands to pray. Keep your feet steady, flowing now. Inhale, circle your arms overhead, straighten your leg. Exhale, re-bend your left knee, lower your hands to pray. Again, inhale, arms overhead, straight legs. Exhale, re-bend your knee, hands to pray. This time, interlace your fingers into a knot. Take a breath in. And now, hinge forward out over your left thigh, pull your fists forward. Inhale, rise up, turn your palms to the sky. And then exhale, arms wide at shoulder height. Turn your palms up, open the chest. Then wrap for eagle arms, right arm over, left arm under. Join the palms or hold opposite elbows or opposite shoulders. (laughs) Breathe in, straighten your left leg. Breathing out, bend your front knee and fold for humble warrior. Aiming yourself toward the inside of your left knee. Steady breath as we pause here. Keep firming your right leg straight. Gently coax your left hip in toward the midline. Now relax your jaw, just finding pockets of yourself where you can soften with your out breath. Next inhale, rise to star pose, turn to your right, arms out, legs wide, take the heat out of your legs. And then come to temple pose, pivot your heels in, bend your knees, hands to the centre of your chest. Pressing into your heels, take some micro pulses in your legs. Overlapping this movement. With the pulse of your breath, just staying connected. Mm. 
On your inhale, straighten your legs. Angle your heels out, toes in for Prasarita Padottanasana. Hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Carry your breath all the way up toward your collarbones, lengthen. Then take a few breaths to fold forward between your wide legs. And feel free to place a little bend in your knees as you go to help tilt your pelvis forward. As you arrive, widen the inner arches of your feet away from one another and roll your inner thighs in. Firm the legs. Release your hands on your inhale. Come to your fingertips. Lengthen. Then turn and face the front of your space. Step back to plank pose. Stay for your inhale. Exhale, lower to your belly. Inhale, cobra, right heel in. Exhale, melt down. Breathe in, cobra, left heel to buttocks. And release. Inhale, cobra, heel squeeze in. Exhale, relax. And press back to child's pose, buttocks to your heels. Full breath in. Complete breath out. Welcome to stay in your child's pose or press back to down dog. Pausing for a few rounds of breath. And if you're in your child's pose, join now in down dog. Gaze forward, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Lengthen your spine forward and forward fold. Come to stand on the new breath. Hands to breathe. Left side now, inhale, chair pose. Sit low on your exhale. Inhale, rise tall. Side bend, your left. Center on your inhale. Cactus arms, exhale. Inhale, reach. Side bend, your right. Inhale, rise tall. Exhale, dive forward on your exhale. Halfway lift. And step your left foot back, warrior one. Really ground your left heel, raise your arms overhead. Steady your lower body. Bring your hands to pray. Flowing now, inhale, arms overhead, straighten your legs. Exhale, re-bend your knee, hands to pray. Arms overhead, legs straight. Re-bend your knee, hands to pray. Now interlace your fingers. Take a breath, breathe up toward your fist. Exhale, hinge forward over your right thigh. Pull the fist forward. Inhale, rise up, turn your palms to the sky. Exhale, arms wide, palms up, chest open. Then take an eagle arms, left arm over, right arm under, your version. Breathing in, straighten your right leg. Breathe out, re-bend your right knee and fold for humble warrior. Pausing here, feed your body with your breath. Softening where you can on your exhales. Next inhale, rise to star pose, turn to your left. And then exhale, temple pose, bend your knees, hands to the centre of your chest. 
exploring some little pulses with the beat of your breath. Posture open, shoulders relaxed. Inhale, straighten your legs, angle your heels out, toes in, hands to your hips down. Elbow squeeze back, breathe in. And forward fold. Wide-legged fold, run your hands down your legs. Or option to take a bind, piece fingers and thumbs around your big toes. Come to your fingertips on your inhale. Then turn, face the top of your mat, step back to plank. Stay for your inhale, push the floor away. Exhale, lower to your belly. Inhale, cobra, squeeze your right heel in. Exhale, melt down. Breathe in, cobra, left heel to butter. Release down, cobra, both heels squeeze in, relax down and press back to child's pose, buttocks to your heels, a full breath in, complete breath out, feel free to stay in your child's pose or press back to down dog. Pausing for a few rounds of breath. And preparing to move. Eyes forward. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Open and fold with your breath. No rush, full breath. Rise to stand, hands to prayer, just pause, into yourself. Connect with your breath. Moving into our final standing flow. Inhale Utkatasana, chair pose. Stay for your exhale. Transfer your weight into your right foot now. Next inhale, stand, lower your arms, come to stork pose or single mountain, left knee to your chest. Just finding your balance. From here, transition into dancer's pose. So lower your knee, bring your left heel in toward your buttocks, left hand to the inside or outside of your left foot. Raise your right hand to the sky, point your palm forward and just find a mild back bend here. And you're welcome to stay more upright here or next few breaths, gently hinge forward, kick your foot into your hand as you reach forward, balancing your effort forward and back. Pausing here, three more breaths. Could place a little bend in your standing leg. Return to stalk pose, left knee to chest, arms overhead, stand tall. And then foot to the floor, forward fold over your legs. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back, warrior one. Will flow, add on. Rise with your in-breath. Lower your hands to pre. Hands into a fist, not the fingers. Breathe in. Exhale, fist forward, hinge out over your left thigh. Palms to the sky, come upright, breathe in. Exhale now, warrior two, lengthen and adjust your stride. Turn your palms to the sky on your in-breath. Place your palms down on your exhale, deep in your lunge. 
Keep your legs. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill your hands to the floor for runner's lunge twist. Pop up on your back toes. Ground your right hand. Circle your left hand to the sky, revolving to your left. Lower your left hand to the floor, step back to plank on your inhale. Lower to your belly, exhale. A little different now, inhale cobra, bend your right knee and then roll to your left, away from your bent knee, come to your buttocks, bring your right elbow to your right knee. As you're ready, next inhale, lift into wild thing, raise your hips, reach your right arm overhead. And stay for a full cycle of breath. And then lower your buttocks. Roll back onto your belly. Knees or no knees, press up to plank pose and pause. And then take side plank on your right. You can modify with me, stay on your right knee or two legs straight. Here for three breaths. Release, press back, downward facing dog. Make contact with your breath. Settling its rhythm. And final side, inhale, looking forward, bend the knees, step or hop, top of the mat. Open and fold with your breath. Come to stand. Hands to prayer. Inhale, chair pose. Stay for your exhale. Weight into your left foot now. Next inhale, stand. Lower your arms. Lift your right knee for stalk pose. Transitioning slowly into your version of dancer's pose. Right heel toward your buttocks. Right hand either to the big toe side of your right foot or outer foot. Raise your left hand to the sky. Point your palm forward. Stay here. Steady your gaze. For next few breaths, gently hinge forward. Actively kick your foot into your hand as you reach forward, feeling for an even arc through your spine. Return to stalk, left knee to chest, arms overhead. Foot to the floor, forward fold of your legs. Halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back, warrior one. Rise with your in-breath. Steady your feet, lower your hands to pray. Not the fingers, make a fist, breathe in. Fist forward, hinge out over your right thigh. Palms to the sky, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Adjust your stride. Centre your spine. Palms to the sky on your in-breath. Palms down, exhale, deepen your lunge. Keep the legs, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill your hands to the floor for runner's lunge twist. Left hand to the floor, circle your right hand to the sky. Belly, ribs, chest to your right. Deep breath in. Stay for your out breath. Lower your right hand to the floor. Step back to plank. Lower to your belly on your exhale. Inhale into your cobra, bend your left heel in toward your buttocks and then roll to your right, come to your buttocks, left elbow, left knee. 
Inhale, lift into Wild Thing. Raise your hips. Reach your left arm over here. Pike your hips high. And then reverse. Lower your buttocks. Elbow to knee. Roll to your belly. Tuck your toes. Knees or no knees. Press to plank. Side plank on your left. You can modify with me, left knee to the floor, or two straight legs here for three breaths. And as you're ready, press back to your downward facing dog. From here, walk your hands back to your feet at the back of your mat. Take rest in a forward fold or option to stretch out through the back of your hands, your wrists, taking gorilla arms, slide the palms of your hands under the soles of your feet. If you have that bind, take a quarter lift on your inhale, elbows wide as you fold toward your legs. Leaning your weight toward your toes as you lift your hands against the weight of your feet. And gently release your hands if you're standing on them and we'll all meet back in downward facing dog. We'll slow down now, we'll prepare for single pigeon pose. And you might like to have a folded blanket or a block to the right side of your mat for support. On your inhale, raise your right leg up and back. On your exhale, place your right knee to the back of your right hand. Stretch your left leg out long. And taking a few moments to set yourself up comfortably in your shape. You can prop a blanket under your right buttocks if you're using one. And there's also an option to bend both knees into right angles and that can offer a little bit more range in your right hip and comfort for your knee. And then just as you're ready, hinge forward and fold into your pigeon pose. Eight to ten breaths. And sense and feel your breath moving towards sensations, expanding your breath there. Really softening, melting, relaxing as you breathe out. And gently ease your way back up. Press back to downward facing dog. Pedal and stretch out in your own way here. Let the back of your knee breathe open. And then left side, raise your left leg up and back. Pigeon pose, left knee back of your left hand. Is taking an unhurried approach before melting forward into your fold.
Slowly walking your hands back in. If you had a blanket under your left buttocks, just shifting it out to one side. Sitting down on your left buttocks, sweep your right leg forward. We'll make our way into a twist. Adha Matsyandrasana. So here, left knee's bent, right foot to the outside of your left thigh. And of course, your left leg could be out straight for a little bit more space in your twist. Settle your right fingertips to the floor behind you, left hand to the sky. Breathe in, sit tall. Keep all that length, exhale, twist to your right. Hook or hinge your elbow outside the right thigh. Three slow breaths. Eyes forward, unwind from your twist, unravel your legs. Take your feet to the floor with your knees bent for reverse tabletop pose. Hands to the floor behind you or you can come to your fists. And on an inhale, lift your hips. Open through the front of your body. And if it feels comfortable in your neck, you can slowly tip your head back, send your gaze back. Light squeeze to your buttocks, even pressure through your feet. And then chin to chest, slowly lower, take a seat. Moving into our twist, opposite side, fold your right foot in toward your pelvis, left foot steps to the outside of your right thigh. So again, one leg could be straight here. Left fingertips to the floor behind you, right hand high, breathe in. And twist your left. Three breaths. Gaze forward. Extend both legs out straight in front of you, moving into Hashimottanasana, our final fold before Shavasana. You can have a little bend in your knees there, a prop underneath your buttocks. As you're ready, arms rise. And then forward fold. Just tuning in, keeping this final shape easeful, honest. Mindfully prioritizing that feeling of quietening down, softening your effort, relaxing your expression. And gently, easy way back up. We'll take the next few minutes now to lay quietly in Shavasana. As an alternative, you might like to sit upright in a meditation seat. If you're laying back, rest back with all the comforts you need. Lay your legs out long and wide. Allow your hips to soften. Rest your arms comfortably by your sides with your palms face up and invite your shoulders to rest back and soften. Letting go now, surrendering the weight of your body into the support below. I'll be back to guide you back in a few minutes.
and gently, softly, start to deepen your breathe. Wriggle your fingers, your toes. Bending your knees, place your feet to the floor. And then roll out to your right side and pause. Take a final moment to... Express gratitude for your body and how it carried you through your practice. Grateful for the energy and nourishment that you've offered yourself. Let it carry you through your day and be shared with those around you. Gently press your way back up to sit. And thank you so much for spending your time on the mat with me for this energizing practice. I hope you're feeling great. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.